Hey everyone, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a muscle building shoulder workout. This workout uses advanced muscle building techniques that require you to have at least two pairs of dumbbells. You're gonna want one heavier and one lighter pair so that you can switch up your weight as needed. For a couple of the exercises, you will be seated, so you may want to have either a chair, box, or a bench nearby. All right, if you're ready to go, yep. let's get into it. We're gonna get started with a strength move. We're gonna do okay. some Arnold presses and we're gonna do four sets. We're gonna start with a set of 12, a set of 10, a set of eight, and then a set of six, and we're gonna work our way up in weight as we go. So we're gonna start with your lightest weight for a set of 12 repetitions. So we're gonna start with our arms up, hands up in rack position. So curl those dumbbells up by your shoulders. Now we're gonna press the dumbbells up overhead while at the same time we twist and rotate those palms until they're forward, finishing with our biceps by our ears. Then rotate, reverse, back down for 12 repetitions. All right, here we go and begin. Full press all the way up overhead and control the movement on the way back down. So you'll see throughout today's routine that we're really gonna focus on that time under tension and controlling the weights as we press and as those dumbbells go through that eccentric or lowering phase as well. Nice and control. Keep a little bend in your knees. Core stays tight on this one. I'm gonna burn those shoulders out today. I'm excited. Are you excited, Claudia? I am. Get it going. Nice and controlled on this first set of 12. You have three more. Breathe in on the way down and then exhale on the way up as you press. And again, twist those palms until those palms are facing forward. And we have last one right here. All right, make it count. Full range of motion all the way up, all the way down, controlled and relaxed. Okay, so because we are going a little heavier on this first set, we're gonna take a slightly longer break. So allow those shoulders to recover a little bit. We're gonna choose our weight for the next set. So we're Correct. doing a set of 10 repetitions. Now, ideally on this one, you'd be moving up anywhere between uh, 15 to 20% in weight, but you're really gonna to have to make this workout your own and also base it off of uh, the weights that you have. Exactly, what you have access to at home. Exactly. So you might not be going up every time. All right, here we go. Next set, 10 repetitions, up in rack position, and begin. Nice and controlled on the way up and on the way down. Again, not a race on this one. This isn't a hit routine. It's all nope. about that strength and muscle building. Really need those muscles to take over, not just your joints and momentum. Good, good posture. Keep the core nice and tight and engaged throughout. So that means actually halfway point flexing those core muscles. This one's working really your entire shoulder. Great compound move as you come all the way up and all the way down. And as the name suggests, this was popularized by, by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Two more. Almost there. Come on, fight through that burn, guys. Burn starting to kick in. Definitely. Last, Last one. one. Ooh, and control all the way down. Excellent. Okay. Woo. Set those dumbbells down again. Shaking out your arms. Shake them out. Shake them out. We got our next set of eight repetitions. Yep. So I'm going up in weight again. Um, I'm thinking staying about it. Same, I don't know. Staying the same or what are you I'm doing? Nope. Claudia's we... staying the same for this one. So we have eight reps. Actually, I think uh, I'll go up a little bit. And as you can see, the you know the more you do these workouts, the better you'll get at figuring out exactly what weight is appropriate for you. All right, start again. Next set of eight. Curl those dumbbells up by your chin. A little bend those knees, and then full range of motion. Control both ends. You got it. Making sure to breathe 
throughout. One of the great things about setting up your reps the way that we're doing is like the 12 and the, the sets of 12 and 10 repetitions are more hypertrophy for muscle building. And then these heavier sets of eight and six are better for strength. So it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Two more. Challenges those muscles. Here we go. Last one coming up after this. Last one, make it count, come on. Finish strong, excellent, all right. Ooh. We got one last set. Again, I'm gonna go up just a little bit more for this last set of six. I think I'm gonna stay where I'm at. And you decide what is right for you. Pushing yourself, but at the same time, trying your best to keep proper form. Yes. I'm gonna get started here in five seconds. Shake those arms out. Let's make a count here. In three, two, one, zero, begin. Again, full range of motion on the way up and on the way down. And as this burn starts to kick in, you gotta remind yourself, what brought you here today? What is it? Halfway point. What are you working on? Stay focused on it. Control that descent. Here we go. Last one right here. And Ooh. Ah, zero, excellent. Up next, we're gonna perform a superset. We're gonna go back and forth between a military press and a drag row. But we're gonna start with that military press. We're gonna do each exercise for a set of 12, 10, and then eight repetitions using a similar technique as we used last time. So a military press is just a, a your most standard basic overhead shoulder press. So again, curl those dumbbells up into rack position, palms facing forward, little bend in those knees, dumbbells by your shoulders. We're gonna press straight up, overhead, extend those arms, and then again, control that lowering face back down to the dumbbells are about in line with your ears. Here we go, 12 repetitions and begin. Again, I really want you to control the weight throughout. You may get tired of hearing me say that today, but it's so important. And then as we get fatigued, it becomes more tempting to let momentum take over, but we really wanna enjoy the results that come along with this routine today. Otherwise, there's no reason to even do it. Again, breathe in on the way down, breathe out as we press up overhead. This is your halfway point. Six down, six to go, come on. Last five. You got it. Pushing through right here. Get that core tight and engaged. Again, this one's really working all three of your deltoid heads. Control that descent. And last one right here. Finishing strong and zero. Woo. Excellent. Okay, I'm burning Feel it on that. fire. Okay, so the next one is going to be, I'm going to use the same way. Me weight. too. It's gonna be, but you can change if you need to. We're gonna do a dumbbell drag row. So keeping those dumbbells in close to our sides, our palms are facing inward. Now we're gonna keep those dumbbells up against our sides as we drag them up and pull up from the elbow. So at the, to the naked eye, this looks a lot like a shrug, but we don't want your traps to take over. This one's really gonna hit the medial deltoid of your shoulder. So as we pull up and keep those dumbbells up, we're pulling up from the elbows. Let's hit it for a set of 12 and three, Two, one, begin. Again, pulling all the way up. I'm pretty sure this one forces you to have the most unattractive face at the top. <laughs> Do a screen grab from this for the thumbnail. Eh, but it's effective. Pulling up from those elbows, keep the shoulders back. Nice and controlled on this one. All the way up, all the way down. It's a unique move that kind of hits the medial deltoids from a different angle than they're used to getting hit from. Pairs nicely with that military press. Again, we have 12 in total. Almost there. You have three more after this. And on this one, you're breathing out on the way up and then in on the way down. So for every exercise, you're trying to exhale on the hardest part of the move. And last one, zero, good. Okay, so we can set those dumbbells down if you, for the next one, if you're gonna go up and wait, which I am for that military press, set of 10 repetitions on this next one. Shake out those shoulders in between. And again, ideally you're going up and wait 
between about 15 to 20 percent. Everybody always wants to know numbers, but it's so difficult because everybody's different. That's and right. Everybody has access to different dumbbells. You have to make it your own. Let's go ahead and curl those dumbbells up to our shoulders, right back into that military press. Let's begin all the way up, all the way down for 10 reps. Breathe. This one, breathing in on the way down and then exhaling as you press straight up. A slight bend in those elbows. I'm sorry, in those knees. You got it. Pushing through, everybody. Halfway point. Come on. And it's not about being perfect today. If you need to lower your weight, that's okay. Feel free to do so. It's just about getting through, getting the work in right here. Whew, I'm burning. I like it, though. Learning to love that burn right here. Last one right here. Push through and control that descent. Zero. Whew. Ooh. Excellent. Wow, I was burning. Okay, I'm going to change my weight a little bit for this next set of drag rows. Again, 10 repetitions on this next one. You decide what, which weight is appropriate for you. Shake those arms out. Okay. We're going to get it going here in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good posture. Dumbbells on your sides and pull up from your elbow. It's like you have a string attached to those elbows and somebody's pulling you straight up with it. Just for a little mental visualization there. Good. Core stays tight. Good posture on this one. Don't bend over or lean back. You got it. Pushing through. Think about how good you're going to feel when this workout's all done. You can cross this one off your list for today. Every repetition is getting you just that much closer to your goal. Three more. Almost there. Finishing this set strong. Let's go. Last two. Right here. Right here. Breathing in and breathing out. Last, Last one. one. Come on. And zero. That's Ooh, it. All right. One. I'm going to go a little heavier for my next set of military press. Last set of eight repetitions. I'm going to push the pace a little bit on this one. You decide which weight is appropriate for you. Use those legs to pick up the dumbbells. Make yep. sure you're not just using the back. Yep. That's right. Especially even more important as they get heavier. Okay. Curl them up, up by your shoulders. And here, let's hit it. A little bend in those knees. Last set right here. Control the way up and the way down. Last set of eight repetitions. Excellent job. Nice and under control. I know as it gets heavier, no shoulders burn. You just want to race through it, but stop yourself right here. Come on. Let's go. Pushing Two more. through. Pushing through. Last one. Ah. Zero. Excellent. Oh, no goodness. more military presses. You can cross those off your list. Getting ready for that last Check. set of drag rows. Last set of eight should be your heaviest set. If you've been working up, oh, my shoulders are already feeling good. Boulders for shoulders. Let's go. <laughs> shoulders are back. Good posture. Let's get it going in five, four, three, two, one, and up. Keeping those dumbbells nice and tight to your sides. You got a little sweat going. Feels good. Warm in the gym today. Come on. Pulling up on those elbows. Every repetition. Fighting through that burn. Four more. Remember, you don't have to listen to that burn. Pushing past it. Your shoulders may be telling you no more, but you're in charge. Come on. Two more. Almost there. Almost there. Pull them up. Keep those dumbbells nice and tight to your sides. Ooh last one. And all the way up. Squeeze back down. Nice. <sighs> This next superset, we're going to perform from a seated position. So whether you're using a chair, a box, stability ball, whatever it is, bench, go ahead and grab it for this next one. We're going to go back and forth between a front raise and a seated reverse fly. So go ahead and sit down for this one. Both of these exercises are really going to focus on time under tension. So we're going to go three seconds on the way up and three seconds on the way down. So let's start with the front raise. Palms are facing up to start. We're slowly going to bring those dumbbells up one, two, three, until those palms are parallel to the ground and then reverse one, two, 
3 is a great one for those uh, anterior deltoids. Let's go ahead and get started. 10 repetitions in 3, 2, 1, hit it. Nice and controlled. And this one, we're really focusing on that time under tension, so you're not going to need a lot of weight for this one. This one's going to catch up to you quick, fast, and in a hurry. Definitely. I'm using five pounders, and I may have to drop it. We'll see. <laughs> Keep in good posture. Five pounds feels like 20. And if you need to, eventually just drop down to just your arms or a couple of water bottles. That's all right. We are totally burning out those shoulders today, so that is by design. Excellent. Three seconds. One, two, three. It can be easy to start to pick up the pace here as you get into it and as you fatigue, but again, I encourage you to really get this time under tension. Got three more. Almost there. Good. And control. Coming up until those arms are parallel to the ground. And immediately right back down under control. Last one right here. One, two, three and one two three Whew. wow burn so good it does <laughs> all right we're going to transition now into a rear deltoid or uh, exercise posterior deltoid so let's go ahead and bend over in a 45 degree angle slight bend in those elbows and then palms are facing us as we come up we're going to pull up from the pinkies squeeze our back and come back down again three seconds on the way up one two Three, three seconds on the way down. One, two, three. Let's begin for 10 reps and go. One, two, three. Reverse. One, two, three. Squeezing those posterior rear deltoids on this one, especially up at the top. And as you pull back, we're not turning this into a row, but instead we're maintaining that same slight elbow bend throughout the whole move. So notice how we're not pulling back and turning it into a pull, but instead it's all about those rear delts and pulling apart. Like if, imagine I have my finger in the, in the middle of your back and you're trying to squeeze my finger up at the top. You got it, one rep right into the next. Breathe through it guys, almost there. Breathing in on the way down. Two more. Exhaling on the way up. Good. Here we go. Last one. Make a count. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoo! All right. Shake them loose on this one. I may have to drop my weight. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that is totally okay. We encourage you to make this workout your own. We have two more sets of each. Mm -hmm. Choose the weight that's appropriate for you. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep the same weight on this one. It's it's burning, but it's just the right amount of burn. It's the goldy yeah, loss and of burn. I, I'm dropping my weight because my form was suffering. Right. We definitely don't want you to sacrifice form at all. So if you feel like you're make it work for you guys, not That's doing it. it right, then drop your weight. Here we are. Next set. Palms are facing up and begin. One, two, three. And again, control on the way down. Again, when you're emphasizing time under tension, generally speaking, you're not going to be using a lot of weight. No. That is the nature of the training method. But it's actually one of the best ways to build muscle because it just concentrates on the muscles and doesn't allow your momentum to take over. Also doesn't allow your joints to help or pitch in and get that weight moving either. Good posture. That's it right here. Breathing in, breathing out. That's the halfway mark. Think about what brought you here today to begin with. Whether you're trying to just get more fit, gain muscle, you got a sport you're working on, you're trying to lose weight, whatever it is, every repetition, you're getting just that much closer to your goal. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. If it were easy, everybody be fit, but they're not. What makes you so special for putting in the work today? Two more. Come on, right here. Pushing through, everybody. Where you at, Hasfit Tribe? Where you at? Come on. Fighting through the burn with us. Let's go. Last one, right here. Nice and slow. And on the way down. Good. Ooh. Ooh, shake them out. 
Drop your I'm weights for a second. I'm actually going to adjust my weight for this next one. I'm going to go up a little bit from the reverse fly. Again, you decide what's right for you. Got a few seconds here to adjust if need be. We're going right into that reverse fly, bending over, 45 degree angle. Good straight back, good posture. Slight bend in those elbows. And let's hit it for 10 slow repetitions. Whew, I'm going to feel this weight Ooh. increase right away. <laughs> you know it's bad when you start feeling it on rep one. Yeah, exactly. That's all right. I know it's working. That's the way I was in the first round. <laughs> and exactly, hey, we're human right there with you, everybody. So just try and adjust the weight to, to survive till the next round. Let's go. Come on. Forcing those muscles to adapt. And it's that challenge that makes them stronger. It's that challenge that makes them grow. Good. Pull back and squeeze. You got it. Rep by rep. Come on. Nothing can stop you. You're a powerhouse. Three more. That's it. Come on. Squeeze up at the top. Last two right here. Come on. Make a count. Pushing yourself because nobody can do it for you. Come on. Last one. And zero. Oh. Ah, shake them out for a second. Wow. I'm going to try to keep the same weight for the next one. If you need to adjust, now is your time to do it. We have one more set of each of these in the super set. Going back to that front raise. Again, focusing on those anterior deltoids. All right. Claudia's increasing her weight a little bit for this one. She Just on the feeling, front raise. She must be feeling good. <laughs> okay, good posture. Shoulders are back. And let's begin. Nice and slow. There we go. Control both ends. Try not to lean and really not using momentum. Hard to do. Come on. Each rep getting you that much closer to your goals. Breathing in, breathing out. You got it. Come on. What'd you come here for, Hasfrey Tribe? What brought you here today? Think about it. Don't just mindlessly float through this workout. Have your goal in mind. Getting stronger every day. Halfway point. Every day doing at least one thing to get you closer to that goal. Not going to be accomplished overnight, but you put in the work, you trust the process, you will get there. Come on. Almost there. Whew. Two more. I'm burning, everybody. Me Come on, too. tribe. Let's go. We're burning with you, Hesford Tribe. And you have your last one right here. Let's do it. Come on. Nice and slow. Control that descent. Ha. Oh, nice Excellent. work. Okay. Last set of reverse flies. Ooh. Let's do it together, everybody. Keep that energy up. Come on. Right there with you. Those pinkies are up on this one. Adjust your weight if you need to. And let's get started in three, two, one. Zero. Pull up from those pinkies and squeeze. That's it. Keep those elbows out to your side. Squeeze the middle of your back on every repetition. This one I find especially hard to control that descent. That lowering phase is to me even harder than the up on these three by threes. Good. Keep breathing, everybody. You got it. Halfway point. Not much left. Let's fight through it. Last set of these. Ah, think about how good you're going to feel when this set is all, all over with. Think about how good those shoulders are going to look in the mirror when this is all over with. Come on. <laughs> Whatever it is that motivates you, focus on it. Ah. Woo, two more. Last two, last two. Burn so good. Burn so good. Here we are. Last one. Finish line. Get there, guys. And zero. Oh. Excellent. This is our last superset, so you're almost there. Let's do it. We're going to go ahead and move your chair, bench, box, whatever you're using out of the way. We don't need it for this last one. We're going to go back and forth between a dumbbell lateral raise and an upright external rotation. All right, let's go ahead and get started with that lateral raise. With both of our dumbbells, feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to bend over on a 45 degree angle. Elbows are bent at a 90 degree angle. Now we're going to come up, raise those arms until they're parallel to the ground, pause, and back down. So every repetition, we're going to pause up at the top and then slowly return back down. 
We have 15 repetitions for this one. So it's probably a lighter weight. Definitely. Especially if this is your first time doing it. Okay, let's get into it here in three, two, one, zero. Coming on up, squeeze and return. That's it, one good, one 1,000 pause up at the top on every rep. This one's gonna hit your medial deltoids as well as your rear deltoids. Really control those dumbbells and accentuate that pause on every rep. Core stays tight, weights back in your hips, may even feel this one a little bit in your legs. That's totally normal. These 15 repetitions, we are gonna get a good lactic acid burn going here. So it's important that you remember that lactic acid is just that fuel that your muscles use. When it starts to burn. Five more guys. You don't have to listen to it. Just ignore it, push past it. Your fitness is all mental. Right here, come on. Almost there. Squeeze. And you have one more. Come on. Zero. Ah, all right. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter for this <laughs> next one. <laughs> Good idea. All right, we have another 15 repetitions coming. No pause on this one, thank goodness. We're gonna go into that external rotation, upright external rotation, bringing the dumbbells up. We got a 90 degree angle at the underarms and at the elbows. We're gonna rotate the hands back and then rotate them forward until those lower arms are parallel to the ground. 15 repetitions, again, under control, a little lighter weight for this one. It's a great move for your rotator cuffs. Okay, let's bring it up and begin. Pull back from your hands while keeping those elbows up. And again, this one's all about being under control. It'd be much easier just to fly through these, but don't do it. Come on, fighting through that burn. You are stronger than that burn right here. Come on, prove it to yourself, everybody. What brought you here today? Come on, let's hit it. We're right there with you. Rep by rep. Fighting through, Hasbro Tribe, let's go. Ooh, goodness. We're all fighting together. We have five more. That's it, come on. 15 in total, four, three. Keep those elbows up, two, one. Last one. Zero. Oh. Oh my gosh. All right, shake them out. Not much time. Not much break on this one. Adjust your weight if you need to. Again, it's three sets of each of these exercises. One down, two to go. Again, I'm going a little heavier for my my lateral raise. And I'm gonna stay at the same weight. You decide what is appropriate for you. Either way, bending over 45 degree angle. Come on, let's go right into it, guys. Pulling up from those elbows and squeeze, don't forget about the pause. Whoops. It's all right, there's a little Freudian slip there. <laughs> Your shoulders wanted you to forget about it. <laughs> squeeze up at the top and pause every time. One, 1,000. That's it, you got it, come on. 10 more. Nothing can stop you, right here, right now. Come on, exceeding your own expectations. That's it, just you versus you. Woo! Defeating the you who couldn't get it done yesterday, but tomorrow, today, you are stronger. Come on. Five more. Let's go, right here. You got it, you got it. Control that descent. Come on, you can do it. Push through, push through. Burn so good. Come on, we're right there with you. Two more. Last one right here, guys. Ah. Oh. oh, there it is, okay. Ooh, you only have one more set of those. <laughs> Moving to that upright external rotation. Like I said, I'm lowering my weight just a little bit on this one. Another 15 repetitions coming up. Shake them loose. It's all about that mental toughness right oh, here. Your shoulders may be telling you no. For real. But you gotta take control. <laughs> You're in control. All right, get those arms up, bent elbows, and let's pull back on those hands. Nice and controlled. That's it, 15 repetitions. And you may have noticed throughout today's workout that I'm using these power blocks. You know, they're pretty nice because they allow me to have many different varieties of weights and allows me to switch it up pretty quick and they don't take up a lot of space. If you want more information on those, 
We do have the link in the video description. We always get questions about them. Come on, let's go right here. Squeeze those shoulders as you come back. Breathe, fighting through that burn. You got it, come on. Almost there. Five more. Maybe thousands, maybe millions of you at home feeling that same burn you're feeling. You're not alone. We're in it together, Hasfit Tribe. Come on. Oh, what's that, last one? Last one, more. one right here. One more. Ah, I think I wanted it to be the last one. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> we have one more of each. Come on, home stretch, everybody. Home stretch. Adjust your weight if you need to. This is it. One Very more last set. set. One more set of each of these shoulder moves. And our shoulders are done. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Dumbbell. Bent over lateral raises. Here we are. Elbows are on that 90 degree angle. And let's begin. Last 15 of these. Pause up to the top. You got to go to that happy place on this one. Again, this is that point of the workout where it's not even physical anymore. It's just you versus you, your ability to push yourself, push past that pain, push that past that desire to hit that pause button and just say, ah, oh, I'm good. But no, finishing through. You start something and you finish it. That's just the type of person you are right here. Come on, pause up at the top. You got it. Not much left on these Hasfit Tribe. Five more. That's it. Let's go, pushing through. Four more. Three more. Come on. Two, get that squeeze, that pause every time. Every time. Here Last we go. Last one. That's it. Last one. And pause. Ah, <sighs> like it. Burns so good. <laughs> Come on, gotta keep that positive mentality going, that positive attitude. Whew. Let's go ahead and I'm changing up my weight for this last set. Who you knew decide. I would sweat this much for a shoulder workout? Hey, feels good. We're working hard, everybody. That's right. We appreciate you working along with us. Let's knock out this last one. Arms are up. 90 degree angles all around. Pull back on those hands for 15 repetitions. 14 more. 14 more. That's it. Come on. You got it. You've come this far. You, nothing's going to stop you now. Nothing's going to get in your way. Right here. Making sure to breathe throughout. Do not hold that breath. Excellent. Not a race. Control them. Control them. Come on. It's all mental. Don't listen to that burn. Pushing past it. Every repetition. Every rep getting you that Five much. Five more. Every rep getting you that much closer to your goals. That's it. Almost there, almost there. Pushing through everybody. Two more. Ooh, here we are, last one. What do you got, what do you got, what do you got? Squeeze. Ah, I'll tell you what I have. I have jello arms. <laughs> ah. Agreed. Nice work out there, Ooh. tribe. Thank you so much for pushing through, fighting with us all yes. the way to the end. If you enjoyed this workout and you've been working out with us for a while, starting to see some results, we'd encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this routine with us today, we ask that you give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts, free meal plans, and our free complete fitness programs. And if you are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat, come find HasFit and connect. Us. Again, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.